what is going on sheep army this is your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about the overall global crypto market as well as taking a look at bone and taking a look at sheep so really this video guys is really just to check in with you guys just to see how you guys are doing i know we're seeing you know dips in the market red in the market virtually everywhere guys so it's not just one asset it's multitude like i mentioned yesterday three out of four cryptos tend to follow the overall movement of bitcoin and the big part of it guys is due to the dominance as far as how much capital is being poured in and it's typically is being poured into bitcoin now not only that we've been seeing a lot of uh grayscale um putting a lot of bitcoin into coinbase and typically when they do that they tend to sell so this is what we're seeing and this is why i was actually so opposing for them to have a uh shiba inu spot etf because they are they're not diamond handers you know <laughs> they're not diamond handers that's one thing for sure i can say uh just seeing them operate within the last few years they will dump on us and that's what we're seeing so we definitely got to take in the good as well as with the bad bad um i'm not worried hopefully you guys ain't worried because again i already outlined this whole scenario for you guys months and months in advance why everybody was extremely bullish you know saying like hey we're going to 100 immediately after the halving i was like nope we still got that waiting period that we still have to go through and this is why i kept saying like hey really we're not going to see any explosive moves until six months after the halving so hopefully you guys were able to listen to the video and seeing things like this, this is just a constant reminder just to let you guys know i already been here before guys i know what you guys are feeling and this is why i'm making these videos so that way tell you guys just to calm down relax breathe everything's gonna be okay because again uncertainty especially this is the first time that some people are just coming into crypto like after having um, uncertainty could cloud your mind and you could be on the other side of things as you know like how other people are just dumping you know you got people are panicking thinking like crypto's never going to recover uh some youtuber or somebody promised them that after the halving they're going to be a millionaire and they're not a millionaire and boom now they're selling so and again it's not just it's just not bitcoin look at this you got bitcoin ethereum aside from the um even tether <laughs> that's down uh you got usdc that's up you got solana look at the pricing on some of these like the prices are looking pretty good now it's nowhere near before like uh we had that huge dump during the bear market because right now again we're in an area where we're seeing consolidation as well as pullbacks because bitcoin it's still relatively uh close to its all-time highs is definitely a hot, lot higher when it comes to percentage than it ever been when it comes to after and having so um definitely like seeing that type of uh stat just to be able to have some type of reference to it uh the whole month of april practically red um so we had all these green candles guys look again we had since august all we've seen just straight green candles without any pullback a pullback is needed guys uh pullbacks are healthy consolidation is healthy um those are the times again to be able to gather some of your favorite assets uh if we take a quick look at bone bone is sitting at 57 cents um you know right back at another area of support so if you guys again still have not gotten your bone bag um these are just the opportunity like i mentioned before guys i'm i'm set on my bone bag if it dips even further, then I'll probably be like, yo, this is an at extreme discount. Even at 57 cents right now, that's a discount rate uh, in comparison to where a lot of people were buying. Like, I remember somebody was talking about, like, oh, my God, a bone is such a, they're like, bone is such a bad asset. Um, I'm down, like, 80-something percent on bone. Yo, after I did the calculation, these jokers were buying, like, in the 290s, guys. They were buying it way over here, like, <laughs> which was crazy just to be able to see that. I'm like, dang, how the heck were you buying here and you're not buying the dip so that way you could get a better cost average, you know? And this is, again, if you, like, people who buy at the top, dips should be, 
the thing that you're waiting for the most because especially if if you're stuck you know essentially that's what it is you're stuck at 290 something when it flashes or crashes down this is when you're trying to dollar dca so that way now instead of having a 290 average you could maybe have a one 190 average or something like that but hey i i'm i'm just explaining to you guys just the game how it goes uh and really, guys, right now, there's no big news happening right now. This was the news from yesterday as far as for Shiba Inu. You have the creator of uh, San. Um, they bought Shiba Inu, and they're going to have Shiba Inu, I guess, in the sandbox as well. But really, guys, again, this video was just made so that way I can tell you guys, hey, everything's going to be all right. Despite what you may see, because all of these pullbacks, they tend to be temporary. Um, so, yeah. But let me know in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Random Mark signing off. Peace.